Today we're looking at a favourite summer fruit, blackberries. Hi, I'm James Donnelly from the Adelaide and Mount Lofty Ranges Natural Resources Management Board. You may have noticed many different types of blackberry. There are 16 introduced species and one native species known to occur in the Adelaide and Mount Lofty Ranges region. Blackberries cannot be moved or sold in South Australia and landholders have a responsibility to control all plants on their property. Blackberry flowers appear in late spring and early summer and as the fruit ripens, the colour changes from green to red and finally to black. And although they may be tempting to eat, you don't know if they've been sprayed or not. So it's always best to avoid them. The blackberry fruits are an obvious distinctive feature which grow in clumps on the end of the stem. But other ways that can help you identify blackberries are from its white flowers, its pointy serrated leaves, which sometimes have thorns on the back, and thorns spaced evenly along the stem. It is important to distinguish between the native species and weedy species as they are often found growing together. The native species is known as native raspberry and is best identified by its red to pink flowers and red berries. Blackberries can spread vegetatively when part of the cane touches the ground and sends out a new root system. They are also easily spread by animals such as birds and foxes when they eat the fruit and defecate the seed elsewhere. Now we'll show you some of the techniques that you can use when controlling blackberries on your property. Because if they're left unchecked, they can form large, dense infestations which are difficult and costly to control. So like most weeds, control them when they're small and isolated plants. When spraying blackberries, it's important to spray right to the growing tip at the end of the cane. This is where the plant is growing at its fastest. It is important to cover the whole plant and not to spray on windy days or when rain is likely. Please be aware not to apply some blackberry killers on warm to hot days as the chemical can evaporate off the leaf and cause significant damage to off target plants such as crops, vineyards, orchards and native vegetation. The blackberry bush can take at least seven days to show the signs of chemical spraying, which should usually show up as a yellow in colour in the leaf. When cutting and swabbing blackberry, it's often important just to clear around the plant to gain access to the root system. Here we have a small plant with two stems. When cutting and swabbing, it's really important to cut the plant as low to the ground as possible. Once the stems have been cut, herbicide must be applied within 30 seconds. Once the blackberries drop their fruit, they will then become dormant during winter time and you'll have to wait till late spring or early summer to begin your control program again when using chemicals. Winter is a good time to slash blackberry plants to reduce biomass. This can be to remove dry canes following a successful control program or to provide better access through dense infestations for the next control program. Blackberries can also be hand dug. This is known as grubbing. It's used extensively in organic situations where the use of herbicides is not appropriate. When digging out the roots, it is important to dig low enough to remove the tuberous part of the root system. Be sure to replace the dirt back into the hole and press it down firmly. We've shown you a range of options for controlling blackberries, but when dealing with large infestations, it is worth considering that although blackberries are a declared weed, they provide protective habitat for native animals such as blue wrens and the threatened southern brown bandicoot. Here at Scott Creek is a good example of how large infestations of blackberries are removed in stages. 
Behind me you can see a large infestation of blackberry. This whole waterway used to look like this. However, downstream from here, you can see slow control efforts on the blackberries has allowed the native vegetation to re-establish.